Hello, good afternoon everyone. Um, today we're going to be uh, working on the uh, Civic and on my cousin's car as well. Um, I have some things inside this car that my cousins do need, so I'm going to go ahead and grab some things out of this car. And for me, myself, I have my things inside my other car already, so it's already set. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get going. House. Interesting thing about this car is that um, it has a VTEC engine, but uh, it don't have a VTEC ACU. So the way you engage the VTEC is uh, through a manual switch that you switch at a certain RPM, which is connected to the battery to the VTEC solenoid. So it's pretty cool. All right, just got to weld the two holes right here. Just make sure no oil comes out. Just in case our oil pressure and stuff. Did that one have or what? How are you going to connect to that? Alex? Boom. That's it. Yeah. You're using the whole cap, right? The whole cap that now. Like this, most likely. Mm -hmm. So, I just have to make it now. Got the stuff for uh, the girdle to shave down. Um, I have down the, the burr bits and the drill piece itself. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, continue on that, and uh, you guys are gonna go ahead and uh, see that. <laughs> I just got off of work and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give you guys an update on the oil pan. Um, it's been a couple days, like roughly around two days since I last gave you guys an update on that, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. My bad for the line. I'm over here doing it inside my work parking lot and shit. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and test out the, the wells that we did. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour water on the outside and I'm gonna go ahead and look for water that comes up from the bottom. See, like I'm pouring water at the top, I'm looking for leaks that come out of the, to the bottom side to see if any oil will come through. And it looks, like, and it looks like uh, no water's going through, so that'd be fine right there. So no oil leaks is going to happen from there, I believe. Hello everyone, um, good afternoon. I'm going to be running some errands real quick and right afterwards I'm going to meet you guys at Alex's house. Um, stay tuned for that and I'll meet you guys over there.
is uh, completed um, I went ahead and I, I notched a little bit too much on this side but it's still gonna be able to run I the reason why is because I didn't knock any uh, oil holes like the, any, any oil lines that are running through here like uh, the one right here like on this side I actually went a little bit uh, less on this side just to accommodate for that so yeah um, 
once I have this on here, I'm going to see if it actually fits correctly. And if it does fit correctly, um, I'm going to leave it be. And then if not, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I shave off what parts are uh, I need to shave off again. So we'll see from there. But yeah, this is pretty much to make it so it can clear the space for it. So it can accommodate the bolt so it gets clear the space in there. And this is this is just to make sure it, everything fits like the rods when it when it when it all the clearance issues so it won't have any clearance issues at all. This is for so it won't have any clearance issues at all. When you want to add um, uh, H beams or I beams and stuff.